guest. There is a lot to say across the board. Jackie is my fabulous guest. Thank you, Jackie. Thanks for hey, the show. thanks. Thank you so much for having us. I'm sorry that, you know, we were a little late getting here, but that is what the Canadian weather was like sometimes. You have to just fly by the seat of your pants around here. <laughs> Check this scenario out, folks. She's coming on the Humagoo. She's up in Canada. It's minus 20 degrees. She's behind snow plows. She's got her daughter. She's going skiing. She checks in the hotel, lets me know I'm coming in 10 minutes, and stills coming on the show. <laughs> of course. Of oh. course, man. The show must go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It, it, I, honestly, thank you, Jackie. I love it. And that's what the fun of it for me, too, is the timing. I mean, i just been used to this enough and just let me know I'm ready to go and yeah, you're like that. I know you and you and I have talked like in the middle of the night over something just on social media, and it's like, oh, okay, let's do a radio podcast. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it's awesome. And I hope that comes across great. And I do this for me in a lot of ways, and you know, and you're sharing your music and getting the word out. And you well, guys we appreciate stuff. it. Well, yeah. we appreciate it, and I've, I've been on your show a lot. You got a great show. You know, I'm just looking through some of the other people you interviewed. D. Miller Band today. You know, you had Richard Lynch, Paul David and the Drivers, K- Chris Crow. Oh, my God, head honchos. You've got lots of stuff that you've done. Like, it's fun just to – sometimes I just sit down with your show and just start listening to different bands that I didn't, I didn't even know existed. It's super cool. Yeah, you know, with the system I have, it's unlimited time. I mean, it goes by five-hour segments. That's why you see five-hour shows. And sometimes I just line them Did up you? in my th- Am I I'm like, is, go yeah, ahead. just seeing this MTS Records featured artist, 1228, you did, it was five hours long. Yeah. And why weren't we on it? The heck, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> We're not, not a in featured there? artist? No, the bloody hell. The next was, time you was, do a Michael Stover featured artist thing for five hours, you better call me. <laughs> <laughs> it was my country time. I must have oh, okay. just played you yesterday, the day before, or something like that. Well, we could put back to the tracks on there. It's almost country. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it in. <laughs> but but you, that's kind of how much music I got to play, and how I kind of go, oh my god, and I feel guilty. And then I had, a, I think I I play a lot of the blues. I'm really rocking with the guitar. So when I yeah. hear, oh my my, the music I get on the blues side, I'm like cranking that. that a lot. Oh, it's nice. I um, like bluesy rock. I I do. When I hear bluesy rock, a friend of mine, Emily Mack, she's a musician here in Toronto, and she writes from that place, that bluesy rock, let's go to Nashville, let's, you know, Black Velvet and Witchy Woman, that kind of space. And and I just, uh, yeah, I love listening to that. It's so good. Well, like one of the artists, I get to play Diana Rain and all that stuff, and Kelly Ritchie. I interviewed Kelly Ritchie from Cincinnati. The, the lineup of the interviews that you see. and the, Again, thank you for mentioning about that. The com is all you need to go to. I got that figured out. So boom, boom, click it and play. And there it yeah. is. You, know. you can just scroll through that top box and and see all these. Or if you want to know more about them, you can go down and just keep scrolling down. It's like one page where everything's on it. It's great. Yeah, and it's just the jams. You know, I show up and... Awesome. Here I even there, see Santa so. Claus with the guitar. Jim yes, Copel. that's Jim Capelli's got Slim Down Santa. Yeah, and that's uh, cool. I had a I like lot this, of Christmas like this, blues tracks. And that's this is I a lot better with. than uh, than some of the podcast uh, programs out there, where they basically give you you know nothing where you can do this. You just have sort of I don't know bad sound, <laughs> bad sound to deal with. Well, you know. I've seen enough where it's hard to get to their players. You got to get to this program or whatever. Just click it. I want to hear it. If I'm here now, you don't have to get to some app. You can go to my app, Spotify, oh, yeah. uh, Radio. They're on all those. But with the humugu.com, it's like the old school, you know, play button, hit it and go. Yeah. Tell um, me about this iHeartRadio thing. I'll interview you now. Tell yeah, me about I- your connection with iHeartRadio because that's pretty unique. Yeah, iHeartRadio is a big thing. I mean, I'd submit to all that and everything is all copyrighted what i do everything is you know you're representing them they had the big iheart awards i listened to on the radio the other night and that's in the podcast and yeah. i'm in that mix Twenty thousand humagoo was in there so everything is checked and that's because of people like you blind raccoon mts records doug duche out in california 
all the artists I get out there are just amazing. Yeah, yeah. So that is the cat's meow as far as the podcast goes because it just isn't given to me. You know, a lot of them, yeah. it just it happens. So That's amazing. Um, so I got a hold to what I do, but it's very simple. I play your jams. Everybody approves what I got. It's awesome. That's what we do, you know? We love it. Love it. And uh, thanks for asking me and going back and reminiscing on how this came because you were yeah. on the show when I was in that blog talk day, and every time yeah. I'd come back from a song, I'd go, Shh, I'd be <laughs> like, and they'd be telling me, you should see the questions. Do you turn your mic on? Do you? I mean, you, it was unbelievable. And then I'm turning my lamps off. I'm doing everything. I mean, I have a monster bar here for my static on my electric, you know, for my my stereo you know monster yeah. surge protector i got all that i was doing everything yeah but here's the thing nobody plays 28 songs in a two-hour period on their system because they yeah. don't have 28 songs to play i mean no. that's blessed from me to my friends in milwaukee you know you got all that Crow, stuff. altered blues band altered five yeah. blues band these guys gave me the jams yeah, yeah. So you got lots of stuff to play. Well, look, you need a better quality of sound than than that sort of half fuzzy AM radio that you're just out of reach. That that sound, I can't stand that sound. It reminds me of being in my grandpa's car driving in the country when you were sort of in between the towers. You know, <laughs> what are we listening to? <laughs> Well, the nice thing they have with that system is they have phone numbers they provide, and people could call in, and I could call out and. Yeah, and that's just an easier way to set up. But it is like AM yeah. radio, exactly. I had two accounts at one yeah. time when I went to this one, and I still had that other account. They gave me forty-five days of free service because oh. once they realized, they told me to go to Spreaker. They're like, go, ooh, "We don't know what to do." I'm like, "Thank you, I know." <laughs> you know, yeah. And, this uh, is much better. It sounds really good. Yeah, you got to be able to play it on the JBLs as my stereo mm -hmm. or my my model it has to be rocking. Yeah. So. Mm hmm. Well, thanks again, Jackie. What an awesome interview. Thanks for chatting Thank about you. my show a little bit. And we're going to finish with the title track, Sonic Boom. Tell us Ooh. about all that good stuff and the future and everything that's happening. Sure. Well, Sonic Boom is the title track, like uh, uh, like we said, off this album that we are touring right now. And it is a rock opera. It's the beginning of the album, and it's basically sort of, sets a stage for what the album's about, which is the story of a small town girl making it big in the big city, traveling across the country, of course, by train. And then, you know, finding the love of her life, who happens to be a bass guitar player, and then ends up in the big city of Toronto, um, you know, on a stage where nobody's listening to her, no curtain call to, you know, trying to write. She has nothing to say to uh, finally, you know, the finale song, which is Two Step. All those songs that you heard today are kind of part of the story. What we have coming up is uh, tomorrow night, I'm going to be rushing back to Toronto after Catalina's race. We've got a Women in Music showcase. I'm not a solo artist, but every once in a while I get asked to do um, an acoustic set. So I'm going to be doing a little solo acoustic set at a, a place called Say What uh, with a bunch of other fantastic uh, Canadian female indie artists. And then um, next weekend, we have a big show at The Hideout in Toronto as well, which is where we love to play. It's one of our favorite venues. Um, it holds just about 350 people, and there's a big competition for rock bands, so we're going to be part of that. And then March the 15th is our album release party. Our next album is going to be coming out. We're going to be at the Opera House in Toronto. That'll be the biggest venue we've played on our of our own show, like where we've actually, you know, headlined. So... Mm -hmm. Um, the Opera House holds about a thousand people, so we're all a bit nervous that nobody will come and visit us. So please come out <laughs> and see us in Toronto on March the 15th when we drop our brand new album, Wild Ones. We'd love to see you there. Well, that's, I remember you were telling me about the other premiere. Was that when you lost the power? That was the hideout, yeah. So that's our, our favorite venue. Those guys are amazing. So when we did our um, launch, our album yes. launch in May, there was the biggest windstorm ever in toronto in like history of toronto and power lines were down and people were like driving around power lines to get to us and there was no power in the club and the club went out and got two generators went out and bought a bunch of candles and light strings at ikea and then basically ran the entire bar and rewired the entire sound stage to run off two generators it was crazy 
And oh. everybody came. We still had a full house. We had a sold out show and it was still full. I couldn't believe it. it was we were so grateful for that. It was like the best moment in our in our performance career for sure. Well, everything is uphill from there because that could be <laughs> my my how you got through that and kept your well, calm and everybody. I'm telling you it's, and, Yeah, you know. it's Jimmy Good and his crew at the hideout. Those guys are, are amazing. But that's what we like playing there. We play there all the time. We love it there. So we'll be playing there again on the 27th. <laughs> Beautiful. And we'll be catching up for that, of course, uh, across the board. My fabulous guest, Jackie. Annie's Thank back you. home taking care of the dog. And you're gonna get, your little daughter's going to go out there and ride the slopes tomorrow, huh? Yeah, if she doesn't freeze like an icicle on the way down. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> well, thanks yeah. again, Jackie. God bless you. <laughs> thanks a lot, Tom. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. Talk to you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Peace. Sonic Boom, take us out. Here we go. <laughs>